Also in Massachusetts, the legislature is acting rapidly on a bill updating what the state can do at a public health emergency. That bill has languished on Beacon Hill for some time, but with the flu outbreak, it's now racing through the legislature. NECN's Josh Brugadier is at the State House in Boston tonight. Josh? RD, the state Senate passed this bill, Bill 2028, today. They did so unanimously, and it gives the governor and the health commissioner the power to act in the public's interest in case in any kind of medical emergency. Timing sped up a hearing and ultimately unanimous Senate approval of the Pandemic and Disaster Preparation and Response Bill in Massachusetts. The bill gives the public health commissioner the discretion to respond to an outbreak like the kind going on in Mexico, to close or evacuate buildings, enter private property, isolate or quarantine people, and to get and distribute meds and vaccines. A registry of Massachusetts volunteers would be created and would be activated in case of emergency. Plus, the commissioner could request personnel from other states. The bill also protects health care workers from liability. Concerns about the spread of swine flu meant lawmakers, such as Worcester County Democrat Richard Moore, didn't want to take any chances. It's too bad that we have to have something like that pending to get us to finally act. But uh, we were, this was actually on, on the calendar before that became a news story, but so it's, uh, it's not that it's totally that, but it does give us another, another reason why it's a good idea to have this on the books. NRD, the bill has actually passed the Senate a couple times the past few years, but has never passed both the Senate and the House. The House is expected to take up the bill sometime this week. Josh, any penalty if you don't follow the emergency declaration rules? It can actually get to be a pretty severe penalty because for each day someone didn't follow a rule, for example, if somebody was asked to be quarantined and they decided not to follow that, it could be a fine of up to $1,000 per day they didn't follow and also up to 30 days in prison. Josh Brogadier on Beacon Hill tonight. Thank you.